Kevin Stefanski has done one of the best jobs last season when it comes to being a new head coach and completely rebuilding the Browns up from being a team that is always underachieving and never delivering. And they had a pretty good roster, but they just couldn't finally put that all together. Kevin Stefanski comes in there and he really was able to rally this team, get them to the playoffs, and their future is so bright. He's an incredible head coach. He's a really smart guy and he's turned a Browns team with no identity, bunch of talent into a legitimate contender. And he buckled this team down. They look really good and he won the 2020 coach of the year award he's an actual head coach that does not get too high does not get too low he keeps himself grounded and he doesn't overhype his team he keeps them humbled and he 100 is locked into making the cleveland browns better he knows a lot about football and you can tell and he is a young great leader for this team so for today i wanted to talk about kevin stefanski his rise to becoming a head coach in the nfl and really talk about this browns team but before i get into kevin stefanski if you could hit that subscribe button we are giving away a free shirt at the end of every week make sure you subscribe to the channel now and i I will get into the details at the end of the video. So obviously Kevin Stefanski comes out last year and the Cleveland Browns have massive success. But the thing is, is not many people really know who Kevin Stefanski is. It's actually pretty simple to track down his history. Coach Stefanski is from Philadelphia and he played football at Penn. Yes, Kevin Stefanski is an Ivy League guy and played defensive back there actually on their football team. So obviously he's a pretty smart guy. And then he coached a year there at Penn in 2005 before finally getting his first opportunity in the NFL. In 2006, he joined the Vikings and Kevin Stefanski coached his entire NFL career with the Minnesota Vikings. From 2006 to 2019, Kevin Stefanski moved within the organization, becoming just a coach's assistant, to then becoming a tight ends coach, a running backs coach, quarterbacks coach, and then an interim offensive coordinator, and then finally getting the full-time offensive coordinator job. The head coaches that he worked with were Brad Childress, Leslie Frazier, and then obviously Mike Zimmer. Now, most notably why Kevin Stefanski's career took off, well, it was because of Gary Kubiak. In 2019, he learned how to perfect the play-action run game that Gary Kubiak was great at coaching. He was a master at it. Vikings offense really excelled with Dalvin Cook just completely turning it on and that opened up a lot of people's eyes to really Kevin Stefanski. Even though Gary Kubiak was not the offensive coordinator, I think that Kevin Stefanski learning how to run that style of offense, which is actually really useful in the NFL, teams that can perfect it can really throw teams for a loop. And obviously that success led to Kevin Stefanski getting the head coaching job with the Browns because on January 13th of 2020, obviously the Browns hired Kevin Stefanski. And this past season, the Browns had their first winning season since 2007 and their first playoff berth since 2002. And this is a guy that's really embraced the city. He's a Cleveland guy. I mean, he was at the Indians game. He really cares about the city. It's not like he's just there to coach football. He's actually embracing, trying to grow Cleveland back into one of the best cities in the United States. And this Browns organization has been a sleeping giant. Obviously, Kevin Stefanski coming in there, he's been the adult in the room. The Browns have just been a complete and utter mess since 2007 and really since their last playoff berth in 2002. Obviously, since coming back into the NFL, the Browns organization has not had a lot of success. As of recently, they really turned it around actually when John Dorsey became the general manager, but they still didn't really have it all put together. Even though John was there revitalizing this team, drafting really important players, and Hugh Jackson was his head coach for a season. Then he hired Freddie Kitchens, which that era was just a complete disaster. The good thing was is that this team had talent. They just didn't really have it all put together. I mean, we've got guys like Nick Chubb, Baker Mayfield getting drafted there, OBJ making that trade, Jarvis Landry, Miles Garrett, Denzel Ward, Joel Batonio, and Jack Conklin on the offensive line. I mean, they have stability at every part of this team. But the thing was, they just didn't have a guy that could bring it all together. And that's what Kevin Stefanski has been for the Browns. Now, obviously their new general manager, Andrew Barry and him have worked together flawlessly. And there's a lot of hope for this Browns team that just hasn't been there. I mean, these Browns fans are very passionate. They deserve a team that's going to be great. And they're really one of the most loyal fan bases in the NFL. They're tired of seeing their team be the laughing stock of the league. And to have a historic franchise like the Browns that was winning championships back in the 1920s and 30s, you know, they they were the dominant team. And when Jim Brown was playing for them, I mean, they were unstoppable. So like this Browns organization deserves to be like a Packers organization where they have a lot of historic success and they've carried it over to the modern day. And really it starts with the style of offense that Kevin Stefanski is running. Like I said that play action game is really hard to stop. And Baker Mayfield is the perfect quarterback for that. That's the style of offense that he needs to run. Baker Mayfield was drafted by the Browns in 2018. And he's put a lot of pressure on himself because he puts himself out there. And I think that's a great way to motivate himself. That's 
why he does it, but he's also flopped at times and, and he's really gotten poked at for that. Obviously doing those commercials, that's one thing that people make fun of him for. At times we've seen some flashes of really good play and some flashes of just complete, what are you doing Baker? Now I will say this, in the playoffs he looked really good. He looked like a leader for this team and that was something that really stood out to me. So that's great for them heading forward. But again, that play action style of offense where you never know if they're handing it to their two lead running backs, Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, that are really hard to stop. Or if you're getting that play action pass to Austin Hooper or those two wide receivers that are a threat, Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham, if he's still there. I mean, the Browns have a lot of great players on their offense. And Kevin Stefanski, like I said, has come in there and stabilized it. Now, last year's team, they excelled. They went 11 and 5 and they made the playoffs. Now, for Coach Stefanski, beating the Steelers was hard for him because he had to sit out that game because he tested positive with COVID. So that really sucked for him. Now, the great thing was he came back in their next game versus the Chiefs. And if that ball didn't go out of the back of the end zone, the Browns legitimately could have made the Super Bowl. Beating the Bills would have just been insane. Those would have been two fan bases that really deserved that moment. But you know what? That loss doesn't define the Browns season. You know, those new retro uniforms, they look fantastic on this team, They've gone back to their roots, and there's just so much hope and optimism heading into next year. They have a really bright future, and Kevin Stefanski is a huge reason for that. You know, people like to talk about the Sean McVays, the Kyle Shanahan's, the Matt LaFleur's, those young guys, a part of their own coaching tree. But I also believe Kevin Stefanski kind of belongs in that group. I mean, he's only 38. Kyle Shanahan's 41. Matt LaFleur is 41. I mean, really the only young one in that group is Sean McVay. So like Kevin Stefanski legitimately is one of the best young coaches in the National Football League. And he's a leader. He seems like a seasoned pro and he's done a great job bringing this Browns team together. Obviously, this was a team that could just never seem to bring it all together. And Kevin Stefanski doing that, I mean, that just goes to show what type of coach he is. He didn't get a Hall of Fame quarterback. He didn't grow up with his dad being a Hall of Fame coach or his grandpa being a Hall of Fame guy that worked with the 49ers. Like Kevin Stefanski kind of had to come up with his own roots and he didn't have that type of coaching influence that a lot of the young great coaches have in the league. So huge props to him. He's done a fantastic job. The Browns are going to be contender for a long time to come and he really is one of the best coaches in the league. Let me know what you guys think about Kevin Stefanski and if you're a Browns fan, let me know what you guys think about your team heading into the future. Do you think you guys are going to be competing for Super Bowls? Yes. That's finally something that we can actually say without joking about. It's a legitimate thing. The Browns definitely are a Super Bowl contender. But before the video ends, again, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, I'll be giving away a free shirt of your team to one subscriber at the end of every week. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on and most importantly, comment down below. The winner will be randomly selected and the best way to increase your chances of winning to comment on more videos since it's completely random and hit the notification bell for more uploads. You can follow me on Twitter for live updates on everything happening in the sports world. Thank you for checking out my channel. I will see you in the next video. Peace.